in this week's video, I'm not even at home. I've come out on the road to come and down and visit Derby Coy. Andy, Graham and Bisley. So I've come down to, to Derby Coy and what a fantastic time we're having. I tell you what, it's really great when you walk in to see another YouTuber's place and, and it's like, I'm a Derby Coy, I'm excited. And it's look, 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 it's a filter house. You see the filter house on telly? How much, look, look, watch. I'm actually in the filter house and I've been in to see all these fish and I'm looking at his pond now. So we're gonna have a wander around and, and hopefully, you never know, we might even catch up with Andy sometime. I've just nicked it to his garden. And we're gonna have a wander around and have a look at the pond and look at the filter system. And we're gonna have a look at his fish because there might be a fish that he has I might be interested in. If you watch Andy's videos, he's always sort of go, going and showing you inside his, his fry house. He's built this fantastic little facility. Uh, and if you've not been to Andy Derby Coy, there'll be a link in the description below you've got to go there and look is we i'm going to look into his his fry place and and see all the all the great fish he's got growing in there and there is one that i'm kind of interested in because i'm on the hunt to replace some fish remember i lost the shower and i lost the ghost so i tell you what we're gonna have to try to do is have a look and see what he's got because i'm just making my way around the garden now let's go it's so much fun let's go this place it's like an estate it's it's massive the the the, the hounds are roaming uh, you know, around the fields and the, all the deer are out there somewhere or what, I don't know. This guy plays, lives in a massive, massive place. We're just, we're just sort of wandering through now and trying to make our way to the other side of the estate. He's just had himself a caravan as well. This is lovely, this is this caravan stuff. I can't, you get lost around here, this place is massive. Um, I'm just making, I'm trying to find which way did I go. I think it's over that way somewhere. Anyway, I'll keep talking as I'm walking, but I'm just making my way down to the fry house now again. This is an area that uh, he's been working on for a little while now. It's down here somewhere, hang on. God, I tell you what, this place is so big, it's unreal. No, it's this way, hang on. Here we go. Right. Not through the gate, there we go. All right. I hear what you're saying. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep everything we have, no, so, um, but yeah, I, I think it's a beauty, absolutely beauty. We're just doing the usual glaring at fish in a bowl, as you do. Yeah, so, so you wouldn't do fry again then? Not unless I was here full time. Yeah. I would, if I was here full time I'd consider it, yeah. but doing this now, being able to go and pick the fish that you like, then grow them on and hopefully yeah, become, yeah. become something nice you want to keep. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of that. Yeah, yeah. And moving fish on as well. Yeah. You know, it giving people a quality fish and I think a reasonable price. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. 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 Cracking setup. I'm just, you know, I'm so chuffed to have come see it. This is excellent. And that heat is on in here. So I bet I can well, but many a time I've, I've watched you doing your videos sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Snowing outside, it's <laughs> <laughs> Well, in the summer with this, even with the door open, it's like 40 degrees in here. Really? With the door open. Oh, yeah, because it will be. Because of the, yeah. What's it? Well, it'll, be, it'll keep the heat in, won't yeah, it? Yeah, and they have put double skins on the yeah, windows, yeah. so it's just insulating it. So your cactoily you're still using, you've got that plugged in? I've got that one. This, this one's all the time. I've got yeah. that one there, which right. is running the cordless one. And that's your wireless, wireless one, isn't it? That's the wireless one, And that goes one, into yeah. your house now, does it? Yeah. 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 If they bring out that Wi-Fi one, Ah, no, Wi-Fi one. Cactuarily, if you're watching, yes. get your finger out, get we their Wi-Fi We need to test one. <laughs> <laughs> we need to test one of them. Yeah, we do, I tell you. Yeah, it is warm in here. It's lovely warm in here. Yeah, I've, I've nearly passed out in here or something. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no, what? I've been doing something in here. I can't remember yeah, what I was doing. Yeah, I yeah. had to do some work in here. And it, the door was open and it was like 22 degrees outside and it was literally 40 something, wow. 45 degrees in here. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, oh, I don't feel it. I need to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel very well. Yeah. Oh, I feel a bit lighter. I, did, I, I thought I was going to pass out. I was that hot. Yeah. So what's in the, what's in the other tank? Is anything uh, in there? Nothing at the moment. Nothing I've moved there. That's because I've moved some of these on yeah. now. Okay. I wanted to when there was because there weren't so many in there. They get very shy, especially yeah. the smaller ones, and they hide at the back. Right. Okay, and you yeah. open the top, and they just start banging yeah. around. So yeah. now they're in here. They're really calm. Normally they'll be shooting around, but 
they're fine at the moment, so. A little gusky next to me, hello. <laughs> hello, little gusky. And that's got some lovely deep red in it as well. You can get them out in the sunlight, it's even better, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, once you get some natural light on them. Yeah, look at that, just. That's beautiful. And he's got the other side, the orange spot there. And he's got one coming on the other side of the back. See there? Look? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Starting, yeah. It's, kind of, it's starting to develop there. And he's getting the white coming along his dorsal fin as well. Fantastic. He's got them white over the eyebrows now. Yeah. Oh, eyebrows. yeah, look at that. Oh. So, you, are you, you going to sell that on then? You're yeah. going to move that on? Yeah, I think so. Look at you. Magnifico. Yeah. I was going to keep it, but because it's a window fish, yeah, it's, it's it just, definitely is. Yeah, I mean, look, it's just super cute. I'm a Derby Coy. I am. Yeah. Look at this. It's the main man. <laughs> yeah, this is out there. Oh yeah, so busy. No, busy no, outside. I'm, so I thought dogs are. I'm a nobody. <laughs> Right, so we've been into the into the fry house now, and we're going to have a look inside of the filter house. So this should be quite good because obviously we see the filter house on the TV, and he's always doing the bits and pieces within the filter house. So let's go and have a look and see at the filter house. Come on, let's go. So Andy has very kindly said he's going to show us around his filter house. Let's have a look in the filter house. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, in the filter house, what we got? Right, well this is my little Tardis. <laughs> Uh, I'm in the process of actually upgrading bits and pieces and changing things around, so that's why I've got this sticking out here at the moment. But uh, yeah, mine's a um, pump fed into an easy pod and then gravity fed back to the pond. Um, it's also from the bottom drain, it's split off. Um, at the moment, it's going through the little pressure filter down the bottom, very slow right through that. Then that pumps back up into my moving bed. Uh, I used to have that running up to here into a river and back into the moving bed but that's all there uh, I've taken all that out at the moment uh, so my upgrade is going to be all this is going here I'm putting a new barrel in which will be on the floor I'm thinking of either going for a homemade shower but I am considering having a clarity view triple tower I know somebody's got one for sale so I'm thinking of having that up here which will then feed into my new barrel, which will be up sort of waist height. Uh, I've also got my skimmer running off through my homemade flow filter, which does absolutely fantastic job. And then that just returns back to the bomb my two returns. That's uh, the basics of it. I've got to get one of them. I'm, I'm consi I'm seriously considering getting yeah. a, an upflow filter. Yeah, making your own or buying it. Uh, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was out at Steve's at Penkoi and he said, "Oh, I might have somebody want to sell one of them. Do I get a second-hand one? Do I make my own? Do I buy a new one? Because like 280 quid, though, aren't they? Oh, right? easily, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that's that for me. It's like that's a little bit overpriced for for what I want because I've got all the filter floss. So it does the job anyway. But you know, people like Andy and people that own these things, these upflow filters, tell me what a fantastic job they do. And Lit, I think Steve said when he first put his in. You know, within 12 hours, it was it was gunked up, and he's got a crystal clear yeah, pond. It's amazing how much they. And they're saying amazing how much stuff to count. Really is amazing. I tell you, I, I think I've just got to try to bite the bite the bullet, and if I can get hold of a second hand one, I might I might get hold of one just to try it out, or I might even try to build my own. You know, you built your own, didn't you? This is yeah. all your handiwork. Yeah. You know what what you find in Andy's channel is, he's he puts his hand to stuff and makes stuff that works. So, you know, if you're looking for stuff, you know, if you're looking to how do I build that, how do I build that, go back in his channel, because he's probably he's probably made a, a video somewhere of how to build something. For example, you know, his upflow filter and all this, all the kit he's got in here, he did like showers, he made it own showers at the back of the, that he's taken out now, as he's putting his other stuff in. You know, the filter we've got to, to the left here, you know, built and designed this as well. So, you know, if you're interested in, in stuff like that, then by all means check his channel out. You know, it's similar to myself, really. You know, you can't knock it till you've tried it. And if somebody comes up with a really good idea, try it. You know, because you never know, it might work. This is ace, though. I think that's it. I'm in Dolby Coy. I didn't mention that, sorry. So what, what fish have you actually, what, go through some of the fish you've got in here now, uh, how long you've had them? Uh, well, four years, 
four and a half years, I think I started the pond. So this pond's uh, four years old then? Four or four and a half years old. I first on the pond, I didn't actually film it, I just took pictures. So I took a, yeah, my, one of my yeah. first videos is what is like a gallery. Yeah, yeah, got it. A montage of just me building the pond yep. as it went through. Yep. Because I wasn't gonna start a channel for that. It was already built when I started the channel. I think the first I still got the first one of the first fish that Kinrin Kahaka was one of my first fish I bought. Yep. And Sankey was one of the first ones. I lost some of the ones, original ones at the beginning. And then I brought Henrietta, which is the biggest fish I got, the Ginnin Chagoy. Then I've got two Platinum Ogons. I've got a Deutsch Platinum and a Scaled one. Uh, I've got an Issa Shower, Hitsuri. What else have I got? I've got a Kajako. I've got a Kikikiru. And I've got a Shashui. I have a Maki Hitsuri as well. So if you could have any fish in this pond, if like money was no object, because we don't talk about money anyway, if, <laughs> if that's unwritten rule of we don't tell how much our fish are, what would you put, what would you put in here? If it was like money's no object, just go out, you can go wherever you want to get it from, no. and you have whatever size, whatever, what would you have? I haven't got a preference on fish I like in the pond. If I like a fish, I like a fish. Yeah, 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 I'm saying. But yeah. I do like Goshke. I must admit, I don't I like love Goshke. Goshkes. That's why I've got four around the back at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully I'll have a good yeah, one. I've never had any yeah. luck with Goshke. Yeah, had, fantastic. I've had two in here and they both lost the colour. So I haven't had any luck, but so, fingers crossed so far, they're okay around the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know, there's no particular variety that's like, oh, I've got to have that, yeah. that fish. Yeah. It's just, if I like a fish, I like yeah. a fish. I must admit, I, I go to shops myself <laughs> and people say to me, what are you looking for in a koi? And, and I just pick up what I like. Yeah. You know, I just go like, oh, I like the colour of that, or I like the colour of that, or I like the look of that, or, oh, that's massive. I don't really like the colour, but it's massive. I, I don't know, it, it all depends what grabs me at the time, yeah. to be honest. So, you know, I've, I, my, I haven't really got a favourite. I, like, I am a Goshki lover, I do like Goshki. Well, I love the floating Benny of Goshki when you see them. Yes. Yeah, like, no, just like a splodge yeah. of paint on the yeah. black. I think yeah. they're absolutely stunning. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, but like, yeah, again, I'm just, everything's different to me. And, yeah. I love I love Kajakas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ken at the car collection, he's got his in his mind pond, the big one. Yeah. Every time I say it, I thought, if I win, I'm probably going to buy that. <laughs> won the lottery. He's coming home with me <laughs> because he just. I've never seen yeah. a, a Kajaku that size or yeah, that yeah, quality. Yeah. yeah. Kajakus. Yeah. I had three, and the only thing was I put them in at the wrong time of year. I put them in going into winter. Completely massive mistake. You know, every day's a school day. Live and learn from that one. I put three in. And I was advised not to, and I was like, no, I'll be fine, get them in, yeah, brand new pond, yeah, whatever. And they didn't last, last the winter. So, and ever since then, I've kind of, you know, I kind of, every day's a school day for me. I kind of learn from something that I've done wrong, mm -hmm. and then I learn from that, or learn from other people's mistakes. You know, you see loads of things where people say, oh yeah, well, I did this and it didn't work, so I don't do that anymore. So I do it this way, and you're gonna go, oh, right, interesting, won't be doing that again. Yeah. And that's really what a lot of these channels are about. They're kind of, so if, if you see us make mistakes, and we video it, then you don't make the mistake yourself, yeah. do you, as well, which is... Yeah, that's what it's all about, the community, and helping people. Yeah, super, mate, yeah. Just putting in videos out helps people, helps me. Yeah, exactly, As I've yeah. said before, it's, you know, I've had that many comments come in, and, oh, you know, I've got an issue, or I'm trying to sort something out, and people give me yeah. recommendations yeah, and I things to try, agree, mate, which yeah. I think is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. That's what I love about it. And I'll tell you what, you, you don't realise, you kind of, the camera doesn't do it justice. I know when I filmed the stuff at my house, and you know, I know what my fish look like, and you go on camera, but it's when you come and see him live. And I'm not saying you're not coming around Andy's house because you know, I don't know whether you're invited or not, but uh, <laughs> but it's, it's you, you don't you don't realize the size of, of some of the fish in, in pond owners' ponds until you see him in real life. It's such a shame the camera can't you know capture that size of the fish. So, there we go. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like because that makes all the difference to all the algorithms out there. So, click the like, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> First, the notification bell and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching Cup and Lifestyle. Don't listen to that. Go away. Thank you.